guys! So today I have my March favorites for you. Um, I can't believe it's already almost the end of March. That's so typical to say, but it really has gone by so fast. My first favorite for March was my birthday! Uh, my birthday was the 22nd and I turned 25. So I feel a little bit old. I'm a quarter of a century. Yeah. So, please don't tell- oh, itchy, 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 what in the world? Um, please don't tell me if you think I look older than 25, but if you think I look younger than 25, feel free, because I really don't mind at this point. When I was younger, I absolutely hated that people always thought I looked younger, but now, like, just keep saying it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so first off, I'm gonna just gonna jump right in and start with skincare. Um, I've been loving this Bosha Subaki Cleansing Oil Gel. Don't know if I said that right, but, um, this has replaced my DHC Pore Cleansing Oil. Um, I love this because, well, it has this little locking thing just like the other one does. So it's travel friendly. Um, the pump only pumps out a little bit, so it's, you don't easily like use too much by accident and then waste product. Um, I've started off using more, but now I find about two pumps and maybe even less, you know, if you're not wearing as much makeup. Um, with this one, because it's an oil gel, you actually get your face wet and then um, use it. Instead of like an oil, you start with the dry face. Um, and it works so well. Like, it takes off my eye makeup and everything just like that and um, it doesn't leave my eyes super blurry like the oil did with my contacts and everything so yeah it works really really well definitely been loving this um, next the Shade Hair Organics Tamanu oil don't know if I said that right either um, but this is anti-aging anti-acne oil. Um, the biggest thing I've noticed a difference with this while it, since I've been using it is I think it's actually really helped diminish my two big forehead lines because I find that my makeup's not like settling into them as much and they haven't been as notice noticeable. So I would definitely say it's anti-aging. Um, and my skin seems to like it. It drinks this stuff right up, even though it's a thicker oil. After a few minutes, your face won't feel oily at all, but I do only use this at night. Um, if you have really oily skin, you don't want to put an oil on in the morning if you're going to put makeup on. Next, um, all month I've pretty much been loving CoverGirl Outlast. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, it's just my go-to for all day. Great coverage. Um, yeah, I can't say enough about this. It's super affordable and is just amazing. Next, um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I always, always use this, um, especially under my eyes. Um, this, I had kind of set NW20 aside for most of the winter while I'm more pale. Um, and I have been using NW15. But, since this one has gotten so low, I kind of pulled this one back out, and I found that using this kind of mainly under my eyes, and then using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is lighter, to kind of highlight, like, right here, and down the bridge of my nose, and everything, works better. Because, because it's a slightly deeper and more blends in with my skin tone, um, I think it helps conceal the dark circles better without kind of like highlighting them. Like I think my NW15 kind of did a little bit, especially when I, if if I had any like puffiness. So yeah, I've been liking, loving doing that. Um, I'll always repurchase MAC Pro Longwear. Love it. Um, next I have this mascara sample, Lancome Definicils. Um, high definition mascara. Um, I've just been loving this. It works really well, gives good 
length and volume. Um, yeah, this is obviously pricing mascara. Don't know if I would buy the full size, but that's how you get they get you with the samples because I have been really enjoying that. Next, still loving my NYX Radiant Finishing Powder um, in Brighton. I just love it. Um, I apply it to like these kind of areas, my T-zone, after setting it with my MAC Prep and Prime Powder to um, kind of just brighten and give it a glow without making you look like greasy. So yeah, and I kind of just avoid that white shimmery corner and just kind of take my little e.l.f. blush brush around the matte colors and then just kind of apply it. So, yeah, still loving that. Use it like every day. Next, um, for my cheeks, I'm not wearing it today, but I've been liking um, Nick, um, Tarte Amazonian Clay. Can I talk? Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Doll Face. Um, I've been liking using it with my um, Real Techniques blush brush because this kind of this is a really bright pigmented blush, so it's easy to overdo it. But this brush just applies it very lightly, um, so it kind of blends it out as you're applying it. So you just get the perfect application. So highly recommend this brush too. By the way, they're super affordable. You can find them at Ulta and Target.com. Um, but yeah, I have been liking that. Next, um, for eyes, most of the month I was using just my Old Faithful Urban Decay Naked that my husband got me for my birthday last year. Um, I was using mainly Sin and Toasted and then just kind of like blending that out for a diffused crease. Um, but yeah, I'll always love my Naked palette. Um, yeah. And then towards the very, very end of the month, this thing scooted in, but I have to include it because I just, I was so, so excited when he got this for me. Um, so obviously I've only been using it a couple days, but it is the Naked 3. I was so excited. Um, just look how pretty the packaging is. It's just like a rose gold, which is my favorite. And then the colors are all just like rosy pinks and mauves, which are my absolute favorite. It's just so pretty. Love it. Um, I haven't used this brush much, but it does come with a double-ended brush, which makes which is handy for travel. Um, and then it did come with some samples of the different Urban Decay primer potions. So yeah, I was super excited about that. I haven't been able to stop using it. Um, yeah, I just... So excited! I, I could go on and on, but, you know, I should stop. But, yeah, definitely will continue to love that. Um, next I have a jewelry piece, which... I got towards the end of last summer, so there wasn't really much more time I could use it. Um, so now that spring is coming, well, technically it's here, but it's kind of, we have like snow flurries today, and it's still like, kind of just like normal winter temperatures instead of like insanely freezing. But hey, you know, we'll all be complaining when it's like 90 degrees outside. Um, so... I was out on my birthday with a hot pink neon uh, little cropped denim jacket and it is this necklace from Shop Lately. It's so pretty. Um, I absolutely love Shop Lately. Um, I always have a link to them in the info box if you're interested. Um, if you sign up through that, I will get credit, so up to you. If you want to use it or not, but I absolutely love Shop Lately. Um, I have a couple of things that on there right now I really want to get, but I'm just holding off because I don't really have the extra money right now. 
but yeah I'm just loving that for spring and I'm sure I'll love it all summer it's just so bright and fun so so that's it for my favorites for March um I hope you all had a great month and um I will talk to you in my next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you've been loving. Um, and that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.